Good morning. Till now we learnt that the products of light reaction are ATP and NADPH and oxygen and of these oxygen diffuses out of the chloroplast whereas the ATP and NADPH they are used to drive the process leading to the synthesis of food which is more accurately sugars and this is the biosynthetic phase of the photosynthesis. Now this process, uh, this process does not directly depend on the presence of light but is dependent on the products of the light reaction that is ATP and NADPH apart from carbon dioxide and water. Now it is uh, immediately after light uh, becomes unavailable the biosynthetic process uh, it continues and uh, for some time and then stops if then the light is made available then the synthesis starts again so can we say that calling this dark reaction is a misnomer uh, now let us see how the ATP and NADPH are used in the biosynthetic phase now we saw earlier that carbon dioxide is combined with water to produce uh, sugars and it is of interest of the scientists to find out how this reaction uh, is fixed. So now just after World War II, several efforts were uh, put to radioisotopes for the beneficial use and the work of Melvin Kelvin is exemplary. Now the use of radioactive carbon-14 by him in the algal, uh, in the algae, uh, mainly photosynthesis, algae photosynthesis studies, it led to the discovery that carbon fixation products was a three carbon organic compound, a three carbon organic acid and he also contributed to working of the complete biosynthetic pathway and hence it is called as the Calvin cycle after him. Now the first product identified by uh, was 3-phosphoglyceric acid or in short PGA. Now <coughs> scientists also tried to know whether all plants have PGA as the first product of carbon dioxide fixation or whether any other product was formed in the other plant. So experiments conducted over several plants discovered that uh, the first stable product of carbon dioxide fixation was again an organic acid but one which has a 4 carbon, four carbon uh, compound and uh, uh, so uh, this acid was identified as oxaloacetic acid. Now after that the carbon dioxide assimilation during photosynthesis was said to be the two main types. So those plants in which the first product of carbon dioxide fixation is the C3 acid that is phosphoglyceric acid. They are called as uh, C3 plants or C3 pathway and those in which the first product was C4 that is oxaloacetic acid that is called as the C4 pathway. So these two groups of plants they showed uh, that there are two primary acceptor of carbon dioxide uh, or on that basis we classify them into C3 and C4 pathways. Now let's discuss about Kelvin cycle. Uh, now Melvin Kelvin, Benson and their other colleagues uh, they <coughs> used radioactive carbon and chlorella and uh, uh, other algae to discover that the first carbon dioxide fixation is a three carbon organic acid. <coughs> so here uh, we see that uh, other compounds they were also discovered which contains four carbon or oxaloacetic acid. So on the basis of the number of carbon atoms in the first table product this is called as the C3 pathway. So the Calvin cycle uh, used is we study it under three stages first is carboxylation second is reduction and third is regeneration. So the step one carboxylation in the fixation of carbon dioxide in the carbon dioxide fixation uh, into 3 phosphoglyceric acid or 3 PGA uh, it, this occurs in the presence of the en enzyme Rubisco that is ribulose biphosphate carboxylase which results in the formation of the two molecules of 3PGA. Now reduction is a series of reactions uh, that leads to the formation of glucose and uh, uh, two molecules of ATP and uh, two molecules of NADPH 
they are required for the reduction of one molecule of carbon dioxide so six turns of this cycle are required for the removal of one molecule of glucose molecules from the pathway regeneration regeneration is the of rubp that is ribulose biphosphate molecule for the continuation of the cycle is there and this process requires one molecule one molecule of atp so this is how the calvin cycle gets completed and uh, we can see here six carbon dioxide uh, molecules uh, they enter with 18 atp and 12 nadph they are required and what is produced when one molecule of glucose is produced 18 adp and 12 nadph they are utilized so in the c3 cycle for every molecule of carbon dioxide entering the calvin cycle three molecules of atp two molecules of nadph is required and to make one molecule of glucose six turns of cycle is completed and the total energy required is produced now c4 pathway is also called as the hatch and slack pathway in 1665 to 1667 now mainly operational in plants which are growing in dry tropical regions like maize uh, sorghum sugarcane etc and in this pathway the first stable product is the first stable product is in the c4 plants uh, is oxaloacetic acid which is also called as the that is why it is also called as the c4 pathway now in the Kranz anatomy, such plants they have the Kranz anatomy and uh, vascular bundles they are surrounded by bundle sheath you can see here bundle sheath and uh, vascular bundles uh, they are arranged in a wreath like manner and uh, they have a, no, a large number of chloroplasts, thick wall which is impervious to gases and absence of intercellular spaces so the primary acceptor of uh, three carbon uh, molecule is uh, phosphoenol pyruvate first phosphoenol pyruvate which is involved in PEP carboxylase now oxaloacetic acid formed in the mesophyll cells forms four carbon compounds like malic acid uh, or aspartic acid which is transported to the bundle sheet cells now in bundle sheet cells it is broken into carbon dioxide and a three carbon molecule the three carbon molecule returns back to the mesophyll cells uh, re returns to the mesophyll cells to form phosphoenol pyruvate so the carbon dioxide molecules released in bundle sheet cells enters the Kelvin cycle where the enzyme rubisco okay where the enzyme rubisco is present and that forms the sugar photorespiration it is a light dependent process of the oxygenation of rubellose biphosphate and releases carbon dioxide by photosynthetic organs of the plant so in the Kelvin pathway the first carbon dioxide fixation step this is the reaction where Ribulose biphosphate combines with carbon dioxide to form two molecules of 3 PGA and that is catalyzed by Rubisco. Now, uh, here we can see photorespiration decreases the rate of photosynthesis and uh, oxygen concentration is increased from 2 to 3 percent to 21 percent and presence of light and higher concentration of oxygen results in the binding of rubisco enzyme to oxygen so rubisco has a much greater affinity for carbon dioxide when the carbon dioxide oxygen is nearly equal but in c3 plant some oxygen does not bind to rubisco and hence carbon dioxide fixation is decreased but uh, rubellose biphosphate instead of being converted to PGA it binds to the oxygen molecule and to form phosphoglycolate uh, and in the pathway and this is called as photorespiration so there is neither synthesis of sugars nor of ATP it results in the release of carbon dioxide with the utilization of ATP C4 plants they lack photorespiration so that is why the productivity and yields are better in these plants and these plants show tolerance to higher temperatures so this pathway involves chloroplasts, peroxisomes and mitochondria photorespiration do not occur in the C4 plants so when we discuss the differences of C3 and C4 pathway we see that C3 pathway 
it occurs in the mesophyll cells and for a C4 pathway in both mesophyll and bundle sheet cells. The carbon dioxide molecule acceptor is ribulose biphosphate in the C3 pathway and here it is phosphoenol pyruvate. The first stable product here is 3-phosphoglyceric acid and here it is 4-carbon compound which is oxaloacetic acid. Photorespiration rate is higher and it leads to fixed carbon dioxide. It decreases carbon dioxide fixation rate whereas photorespiration is very negligible and it is almost absent hence it increases the carbon dioxide fixation rate. The temperature is 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. Here optimum temperature is 30 to 45 degrees Celsius. Rice, wheat and potato, these are the examples where the C3 pathway happens. Whereas sugarcane, uh, amaranthus, maize, etc. they are the plants where the C4 pathway happens. Now factors affecting photosynthesis. Light, both internal and external uh, pathways, they affect the photosynthesis. Light intensity increases, so the rate of photosynthesis also increases until light saturation point. Now the external factors are the sunlight, temperature and here the Blackman's law of limiting factor. It's if a chemical process is affected by more than one factors, uh, then its rate will be determined by the factor which is nearest to its minimal value. It is the factor which directly affects the process if its quantity is changed. So that law operates in the photosynthesis. Now here you can see how the light, carbon dioxide, temperature and water they affect the photosynthesis when the light intensity increases. The rate of photosynthesis also increases. Carbon dioxide concentration if it increases the rate of photo, uh, photosynthesis also increases. Temperature does not influence the rate of photosynthesis directly but at higher temperatures enzyme activity is inhibited due to the denaturation of enzymes which affect the dark reaction. Water increase in the amount of water, the rate of <coughs> photosynthesis does not increase as after saturation no more water is required during photosynthesis.